Target stock is down more than 40% from its peak, as their margins have contracted, they reported lower than expected earnings. As you know, Target is a US retailer that has a market cap about 78 billion and pays a dividend of around 2.5%, which is expected to increase more in the future. The question you should be asking is how much money can you make with Target stock? Each of us has different goals. You may be happy with a 7% annual return, and others may want more. And in this stock analysis, I'll help you see their business model, their fundamentals, what opportunities they have, the risks, and at the end, you'll find out the fair value of Target, whether it's a good buy at the current price. There are many great businesses out there, but only a few are getting investments. My goal is to find those investments where I can double my money in the next 3 to 5 years. So let's see if Target can be such an investment. Let's begin. Target is a US retailer that has about 2000 stores in the US and their business model is like this. They buy most of their goods from Chinese suppliers and other vendors. Then they sell those products in their stores and on their websites. E-commerce is about 17% of their total revenue. Moreover, they have different partnerships with other companies, such as CVS, a retail pharmacy which sells drugs in Target stores, and Target gets a rental fee. Other partnerships are with Apple and Disney. They make those deals to attract more consumers to their stores. Plus, they also allow other third-party sellers to sell on their marketplace. They didn't disclose how much money they make from those sellers. So they buy low, sell high, and try to make a profit on those small margins. Now, let's see their fundamentals. Target has a market cap about 78 billion and pays a dividend of around 2.5% or $4.42. You can see their estimates in this image and what they've done in the past. Revenue is expected to grow more in the future. Not that much, but a growth rate of around 3% per year is expected. Now, in terms of their earnings, they're expected to fall by more than 50% and then rebound by 2026. Target had 6.9 billion earnings in 2022 because of high inflation. It was also that stimulus to the economy and their earnings went up a lot. But now, because they have higher costs with the goods they have to buy, plus higher wages, their earnings have started to decline. So, when you are valuing this business, you can't use the earnings from 2022. As you can see, they are expected to decline to 2.5 billion. Total assets are about 55.6 billion, of which cash is around 954 million. Total liabilities are about 44.5 billion, of which debt is around 16.4 billion. If Target makes over 3 billion in profits a year, they can easily handle that debt. Now let's see what the opportunities and risks are. As I said, Target has about 2,000 stores in the US. The management said they plan to increase their locations, expecting to open about 30 new stores a year. This means they'll increase their revenue as they expand their business. Plus, their sales will increase with inflation. Moreover, they can expand their e-commerce presence, which now is about 17% of the total sales. In addition, when their profits improve, they might do new buybacks. They have a current program where 9.7 billion is available for buybacks. That's about 12% return on the current market cap. So Target is a stable business that will grow with the economy and as they open new stores. Now let's see the risks. The main risk is competition, which can make their margins decrease. If Target can compete efficiently with these players, especially Amazon, Costco and Walmart, then they might lose market share in the future. What really matters in this industry are prices, who offers the cheapest prices. Then distribution, as more people order online, those retailers have to provide faster delivery and at the same time keep costs down. Amazon is working on autonomous driving plus drone delivery. For instance, they have this car called Zooks, which might become the new type of delivery. You just go out and get your order. This means that Amazon will no longer need drivers and can reduce the delivery costs. So they'll have lower costs and faster delivery. About low prices, from what I've noticed, Costco offers the cheapest prices. So the competition will increase even more in the future as technology has become an important pillar for every business. I'm not saying Target could go out of business, but their profits might be affected to see lower than expected earnings. Just imagine, when you order online, you don't care about Target, Amazon or Walmart. You are looking for the cheapest prices and fastest delivery. Whoever can do both will be a winner in this industry. So you have to be aware of the competition. Follow the results. Now let's talk about investing in Target. As the price is down over 30% from its peak, you might think this is a better investment now. But before investing in something, you also have to see the risk, how much money you can lose and the reward, how much money you can make. So the risk of investing in Target depends on their future growth. For instance, if Target grows its earnings by 3%, in the next 5 years and then flat because of competition, then the fair value will be about 31 billion. This can happen if they lose a lot of market share to competition. And the reward, if Target grows its earnings by 6% in the first 5 years and then by 4% and 
and the multiple is about 20, maybe the market will like target more in the future, then the fair value will be about 61 billion for 10% return on your investment. Of course, if you are happy with a lower return, let's say 7%, then the fair value will be the same as the market cap. So if everything goes well, target can deliver 7% on your investment a year at the current market cap. Now if problems arise, as usual, then the return might be lower. And in the normal case, if target grows its earnings by 6% and then by 3% as it grows with the economy, then the fair value will be about 51 billion for 10% return on your investment. You see a payout ratio of 40% because they pay out about 40% of their earnings as dividends and the rest is used for buybacks and opening new stores. So it's up to you what return you want. If you like the dividend and position the target has in this industry, you can take advantage. If not, you can search for other investments. You can check out my playlist of undervalued stocks where you can find new ideas. And tell me in the comments where do you see this business in the next 10 years. And if you find value in this video, please give a like and subscribe to see more videos like this because I want you to succeed.